and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my 6 to 12 month essentials. I did newborn to 6 months and I figured I'd continue the series. Now P is 13 to 14 months. I know what I really relied on in that time frame. I feel like 6 to 12 months is quite a big gap in the sense of like development. P is quite slow at developing whereas some babies were walking, talking and crawling at 9 months. Whereas with P at 14 months, she's not walking, she's not talking, she's not crawling, and she doesn't have any teeth. So what I feel works for us and what we relied on in that time frame might be totally different to what other people relied on. But I'm just going to go through um, things that I feel that we needed every time we left the house and stuff like that. I've left out all of the genuine basics like a stroller and a new car seat and stuff like that and I've gone with things that I feel may or may not help you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it into like little subcategories. So first of all I'm going to do weaning and then I'll do teething and toys and stuff like that. So with weaning I found that the essentials we had is a bumbo and a high chair. Um, we got the bumbo first and this is what a bumbo looks like. It has a removable tray. Um, and then it's just a little, um, it's not, it's like foam, it's like a soft foam um, plastic chair. It's wipeable, you've got straps, you can get these from pretty much anywhere. I know you can get them in mother care for like £40, but I got mine second hand um, on eBay for like 15 quid. And they're just brilliant. Um, I still use this now. It was actually in my car before this video. I take it with me everywhere, especially when I'm doing the shop. P can sit in it and I can still keep an eye on her, know that she's not going to fall over. And then she can also have a tray on it um, so she can eat, she can play. They're just brilliant and I'd highly recommend getting them. Um, when I started to wean P, because I started weaning her at four months, she was actually quite small. Um, so I put her in this. And then when she was six months, I then moved her into her high chair. So that's some clips of the high chair that we've got um, whilst I'm talking because it's too big to put in the video. Um, but we chose the Joey Snacker high chair. And the reason why we chose it is just because it folds up. You pull the strap in the middle and then it just collapses. Underneath the high chair, there's a little mesh sort of net where you can put the um, removable tray underneath as well. So it's just really compact and I really like it. Um, again, it's really easy, like fabric, it's wipeable and it's got straps and you can adjust those. It also has three settings um, at the back. You can lift the, the, um, the back of the seat and it can go from like reclined further up and then upright, which I really like. To be honest, we haven't really used that feature. I thought we would use it a lot more. But I do like the fact that it's an option that we can have. We got ours from Toys R Us. It was on an offer for £40. And they do loads of different patterns. They do like unisex ones. They do girls ones, boys ones. I just really like the range. And I would highly recommend their high chairs. On to weaning supplies. Obviously 6 to 12 months is sort of the age and the range where you're exper experimenting with foods and getting your babies to try loads of different things. And I found that we use the brand Nubby for bowls and spoons. The only reason that I actually got these is because they were in the Aldi baby event and I got four for 99p which is so cheap. So we've got the plates, the bowls, the snack cups, um, the sippy cups, pretty much everything that P uses to be weaned on was nubby. She still uses them to this day. Um, so I think I got like a packet of, I think we got six spoons for one pound and then um, four bowls and they're just really nice like plastic bowls like they've the amount of time she's thrown them on the floor they've never cracked they've never smashed or anything um, and they just have nice colours you can also put these in the microwave which is great because when you're defrosting um, purees and stuff like that you don't want to use loads of different bowls so I would highly recommend these as for bibs our favourite bibs are these folds I think they're called the roll and go Tommy Tippy bibs the problem we've got with these is because P's so small, um, they gape at the front. So I don't know if you've watched any of my vlogs. We actually put um, just a little um, waterproof bib underneath and then put this over the top because if not, she would get food down her front um, or when she like drinks, it can go on her clothes. So I double bib her, but these ones are great. They're easily stored because they literally just roll. You can fit them in the bag. It doesn't take any space at all. You've got the three different settings on the front, which again is great depending on the size of your baby, and they can just grow with you. We've got three of these, and then we've got one of the harder ones. Um, I don't recommend these at all. I don't like it. I rarely use it. I only use it if all of these have been used and I need a new one. 
when you close it I find it's easily popped off P always pops this one off and throws it on the floor it's not very comfy for her when she's like trying to lean forward this sort of restricts her I don't like it at all um, but we wanted to see what would work and what wouldn't work for us so I wouldn't recommend this one by Tommy Tippy, but I would recommend these and I think these are maybe like 250 three pounds so as for sippy cups, we use, the majority of them are nubby and then I've actually got three of these Tommy Tippy cups. I got these before um, P was born because they were in the Aldi baby event. I think they were like £2 and I got a yellow, a pink and a blue. I really like these ones, Neil doesn't like them too much. Um, and there was quite a lot of negative media about the Tommy Tippy ones, how you can't clean the valve. But I've literally just found out that you can just pull this off and you can clean it. Mine's quite dirty because I couldn't, didn't realise that you could do it. Um, but now that I've done that, I don't have to bin this now, which is great. And then the nubby cups we use are the sippy ones. So you've got the lid and then it's just like a really nice and easy sort of like, I don't know the, I don't know the texture. It's like a silicone um, spout. I really like them. We've got four of these. It comes in loads of different colours. Again, it was like one ninety nine from the Aldi Baby event. We started giving this to P when she was four months, and she's really like grasped how to hold it and then tip it herself and drink out of it. This is the easiest one I found for her to learn to drink from because it's like a dummy texture. She knows to suckle on it, whereas with the Tommy Tippy one, it's a totally different texture. It's quite difficult um, and hard. So she really got on well with this. So if you're going to go for a weaning cup, I would advise these sort of style because of the tea. And finally for my last little weaning section in my 6 to 12 month essentials would have to be the Tommy Tippy food blender. I love this. We got this from a baby event. I think it was like 10 to 15 pounds. You can get them anywhere. You can get them in supermarkets. You can get them in Argos. Um, and it's just brilliant. I've done a video about how to do baby puree, so I'll link that below. So this is what it looks like. It's very small. Some people complain about that and they complain about the noise, but it's a baby blender. What do you expect? It's going to blend up fluid, f fluid? food and it's going to be loud. Um, I just really like it for the price that it was. You can't go wrong. It's got three settings. It's got one and two and a pulse setting. You can customise your baby purees, whether you want it to be really, really smooth and obviously keep it on for longer. If you want it to be lumpy, do it for a short amount of time. It's just a staple that we needed and I would be lost without it. I still use it now. If we've got some fruit that's going on the turn, I'll blitz it up and put it in a smoothie for her. I would highly recommend this. For the price that it is, you just can't go wrong. Another essential of mine, which I feel like gets overlooked if you're not a dummy user, are dummy clips. I love these. If you did or did not know, I make these myself because I didn't really like any of the prints and patterns that were out there. They just weren't anything that was for me. I feel like a lot of them are very garish and cartoony and I don't like that. I like pretty ones that go with outfits. So I decided to make them myself. But they are just a lifesaver. I brought this little dummy steriliser that can go in a bag and I think within six minutes, if your baby drops a dummy on the floor, you put it back in this steriliser and within six minutes it's done. I don't have six minutes to sterilise the dummy when I've got a screaming baby. I don't feel like it's practical and it was a big waste of money. Whereas on a clip, you literally attach the dummy by the popper it's in their mouth and if they don't want it it's only going to fall that small distance which is nothing at all it's like 30 centimeters the whole thing is 30 centimeters these are just brilliant you can also use them on toys so for example when P was a lot younger we used to attach them to these rings um, so we knew that if she had enough other toys she wouldn't just throw them they wouldn't get lost they would just be sat in a push chair or sat with her in her car seat and she could still use them whenever she wanted to play with them I put them on my car seat I put them on the push chair I have them absolutely everywhere and I could not leave the house without them I'm going to move on to the whole sort of teething sort of section if I'm being honest P hasn't really started teething until now and she's 14 months um, but like I said a lot of babies get teeth a lot sooner they normally start to cut in from six months onwards whereas P is just late. The brand that we've gone for again is Nubby this is not sponsored by them whatsoever um, I just love their products they're really affordable and the first one we got is this trio we got these from Morrison's in a baby event they're a couple of pounds um, and you've just got purple one, a blue one and a pink one with like loads of different textures. This one's her favourite because of the corners and on the corners they've both got different textures. 
um, but they're just great, they're easy for her to hold, they go in the fridge, they don't take up any space whatsoever, and she just really likes them, so we've got those ones. And the other ones are the Nubby Keys, again these can go in the fridge just to keep nice and cool, got nice bright colours, I can put a dummy clip on these so they don't go anywhere, um, and they, again they've got different textures, and they're just something that she can play with and rattle them around, and we found these really helpful. The next one is one of our favourites and that is the clicker, it's not really a teether, I mean it can be because you've got the different textures and the different sort of handles but it also clicks and it's got a little ball in it that rattles. I think we got this from Home Bargains, it was only a couple of pounds. Then we have the bugger loop, again this was just great for her to look at, to play with, it's got loads of different bugs on it, you've got loads of different beaded textures, so you've got one with spots, one that's plain, one with like indentations, one with stripes, they're just great, it's really difficult, I don't think you'd ever be able to break it, I don't want to try, um, but it's got hard plastic, it's got silicone, it's just brilliant and P really enjoys playing with this as well. And then one of her most recent favourites is this weird thing that I picked up from Sainsbury's um, and it's sort of like a dummy so it's got the shape there for the nose to go, likewise for this side um, and then it's got hard plastic which is the green and then it's got silicone plastic which is the pink. I tend to put um, Dentinox teething gel on the pads and then shove it in her mouth and she can chomp on it and I do the same on the bottom and then it can get on the bottom as well. She really likes it, it's nice to play with as well. And finally one of our favourite teething toys is Sophie the Giraffe. She's pretty scary but I don't know what it is, children just love them, they are brilliant, they do them in loads of different varieties, I know they do a really small compact teething ring or they do the actual giraffe but we've got the um, the circular one which is pretty simple and she just loves it it's nice for her it's like a rubber texture it's sort of like a dog toy um, but it's squashy she likes just to shove the mouth in her mouth and chew on the ears it's great it's easy for her to hold to be honest she does tend to throw it so again a clip on there would prevent it from getting lost but I just love it and I would be lost without this this was definitely one of the things was like have you got Sophie is Sophie in the bag so this is just a must-have with toys P was never really into toys between 6 to 12 months it's only been a recent thing um, she's never really been into reading books or playing with toys because she didn't really understand the concept of it but she did have her two staples and that is the Manhattan Rattle I don't know, the brand is Manhattan Toys um, and it's this colourful rattle and these Sissy Links both of these are actually from John Lewis we had a gift voucher when P was born and we got these because i done my research and a lot of people raved about these and she really liked it really bright and colourful apparently one of the first colours that babies can see is red so it's got red on it it rattles, she can teeth on it it's like weird plastic it sort of bounces, she can throw it around it's just brilliant um, again this is one of the things that we made sure that we had whenever we left the house and then the other thing that we got from John Lewis are the sissy links we have actually lost one of the rings um, she had a lime green one as well but they're just great, you can take them apart individually and then you can loop these two together. They've got loads of different textures on, so they've got um, stripes, spots and plain. And then obviously you've got the main ring which is black and white. These are brilliant, they're so small and so inexpensive, I think these are like £4. And this one, this one was a little bit more pricey, this was about £10. Um, but I would highly recommend these, they're just great, they float, so when P used to go in her paddling pool in the summer, I used to take these because I knew they wouldn't get ruined because they're just plastic and they can float on the top, she can take them and teeth them and they're just brilliant and she really likes these. Another toy that we found was great is this little um, purple spiky ball. I got this from Primark in like the summer section um, and it was 90p and it's great you can hit it and it lights up red and blue and P really likes like trying to understand why it's flashing and she was just so engrossed by it and then when it finished I'd hit it and do it again for her. It's also great like it's a good touchy feely sort of thing it's like a silicone mesh and she was like putting it in her mouth and trying to chomp on it it's just great and for how inexpensive it is I would highly recommend it. And her other toy which she still plays with now is her phone from B&M. This was £2.99, £3.99, it's a little flip phone, it's got four buttons, it's got a little mirror and then it's got this cool button down here. So you can either get a tune, you can get like a dog, cat, 
duck or frog sound. It, it lights up. It rings. It's quite bulky, but I mean, it was good for her. She could teeth on this bit. She likes to play with the star. It's just great. She really enjoyed it. And for how inexpensive it is, I know a lot of them you can pay like 10 to 15 pounds, but for this to be three pounds, she absolutely loved it. If you saw my newborn essentials, you would have seen that I had the Angel Care bath support in there. Whereas this time I've got the Safety First bath seat. You can get them in loads of different colours. You've got the suction pads on the bottom and then you can just swivel it round. So whether you want to quickly turn around to wash their back, you can do that as opposed to moving yourself. They also have a little toy. I think the new ones have got a ball, whereas this has just got little seahorse rings on it. We got our second hand for, I think it was like £5, but you can get them brand new for £15 to £20 in like Argos, Amazon, places like that. This is just great. It's the next stage up. So when your baby's able to sit unsupported, but you don't feel comfortable leaving them in the bath with just one of them grip pads, this is your next port of call. I could probably put P on one of those like slip pads now, but I don't feel comfortable with it yet. So I love this. I still use this. We use this every single day. And it's one of those things that you forget about because you just get so used to using it. But it's just brilliant. And finally, I've just got two things which are sort of bedtime related. So the first things are comfort toys. If you watch my videos, then you will know that we are obsessed with Jelly Cat. When I say we, I mean me. P has got quite an extensive collection of Jelly Cat toys, but she only has the select few that I let her play with, which is quite harsh of me. But I just, I'm very particular about them. So she has three sort of favourites for bedtime and then she has one in her bag which I've forgotten to bring in here. Um, but she's got two bunnies. Um, so these are the small bunnies. This one is the Cream Bashful Blossom. Um, and it's the size small and she just loves it. It's sort of, this is the one that she's had since she was born. It was from my friend Ellie and she likes looking at the ears because it's got different colours on it whereas the majority of them are plain. Whenever she goes to sleep, she's normally playing or holding the ear or the arm. It's just a comfort thing, and I feel like I had one and I've still got mine, and I couldn't imagine P not having like a comfort toy, um, especially it needs to be a bunny because mine's a bunny. Um, and then I also gave her this one. This used to belong to me. I don't know what style it is because I don't do it anymore. Um, but it's just a pink one with a cotton and fluffy tail. And then for her first birthday, we also got her a monkey. Again, she absolutely loves this. She likes playing with the tail quite a lot, like twisting it around in her hand. And again, holding the arm. And this is the bashful medium monkey. The final thing I've got to recommend to you is a grow bag. We get ours from Morrison. I feel like they've got the best quality grow bags for how much they are. They're £12. And they're just great. Um, I would recommend getting ones with zips as opposed to poppers because when you're changing nappies and stuff in the middle of the night, you do not want to be faffing around with loads of poppers. It's bad enough when they've got their sleep suits on. So you literally just unzip, put your baby in, do it up and then do up the poppers. And it's great. It keeps them nice and snugly and warm. P was a winter baby and we started to pull ours out in April time, which was obviously getting a little bit warmer. But as it, she got warmer, we used to take like items of clothing off so instead of her being in a vest and a baby girl it would just be a vest and then it would just be knickers and a nappy in one of these. I found putting her in one of these good for our routine. She knew that whenever she used to go in her grow bag it would be bedtime. We never put it on for naps it was just for night time. Just getting in your grow bag, getting in your cot, having your night light on, having your comfort bunny, having your music on, it was bedtime and we enforced that routine and she's still in it to this day. They're just really good, they're really safe, it also prevents them from like getting a blanket over themselves and smothering themselves and that sort of thing is so scary. Um, so that is everything for this video, I hope it helped you and gave you some pointers. I will be doing one again from one to one and a half and then that one is going to be totally different because she's into totally different things now. From six to twelve months she wasn't really doing anything like the newborn stage but as she's getting older she's into more things, learning and looking and taking everything in. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Hi everyone, so I was just editing this video and I realised that I forgot the one thing that I would recommend the most. And I do this all the time, like I forget to end my vlog or I miss out a section in a video and I have to do this. But I can't do a 
essentials video without including this. That is Pee's walker. Um, if you watch my vlogs, you'll see that she is in her walker all the time. Our one is from Mothercare, um, and it's just brilliant. I don't like the colours, but there's nothing I can do about it. This comes off, and you can eat on it. However, I don't do that. I let her eat in her high chair. This is a fun sort of thing, as opposed to where you eat your dinner. It's also got a play tray on it, so you've got a little steering wheel. You've got a little twisty thing here, and a spinny thing. And you've got something with balls in. You also have a switch here, um, and then you can press the buttons and it makes a sound, but Pee's asleep and I don't want to wake her up. It also has two settings for height adjustments. This is on its highest setting. She was on the first setting, I'd say, from oh, seven months to a year, and she's now 14 months and she's on the second setting. It was just after Christmas when we put that up. It's just something that I couldn't imagine my life without, like, if I need to go to the toilet and I need her to be safe, I put her in there. It gives her so much independence and confidence with walking as well. Like, because we've got hardwood floors, she can just fly around in it. She can do U-turns. She can follow me. Like, we play hide and seek. Like, it gives her so much freedom. She can't walk. She hasn't got her balance. But this is such a great starting point. So I'd highly recommend this. Like I said, ours is from Mothercare and it was £30, which is such good value for money for how much we use it. Okay, so that is my additional bit out of the way. I do apologise that it's messed up the video, but hey-ho, I will see you in my next video. Bye!